We're gonna move on to TJ's secret lover. Oh God, Essie, come! Oh, oh God! Put up my favorite picture. Oh, so beautiful! Oh my God! Fuck yeah! Dress me up as a baby. Let me suck milk from them titties. Okay. So SE Cub is gonna talk about the minimum wage and why it's so bad. So bad. So fucking bad. So fucking bad and he's oh, a yes. spanking. God SE oh. Cub, tell me how it's bad. Her breasts are very big. Tell me. A lot of Democrats <laughs> <Cholesterol>. <laughs> A lot of Democrats have said that ma raising the minimum wage is both good economics, good politics. You the know what CBO I think? I think anyone who opposes raising the minimum wage should have to work a minimum. That should, that should be their pay. Like, if it's so great and so adequate and so fucking full of growth opportunities, then I think they should accept minimum wage for their jobs. SE Cup never had a minimum wage job because stripper is above minimum wage. Right. Way above minimum wage. And she needs to... She Her current job should pay minimum wage. Like, she oh. should be getting minimum wage for this shit here. <laughs> I agree with you. Nonpartisan CBO uh, issued a report today saying that raising the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour would cost the economy about 500,000 jobs. Now, I have sat at this table with many Democrats who have told me to my face that I am dead wrong that the minimum wage would cost us jobs. Now, I based that on math that pretty much everyone knows about supply and demand. Why should we trust Democrats on anything when they couldn't have foreseen that this would be the case. First, God, is it, tell me how bad it is. Oh, give it a spank. So tell me how bad it is to risk. Get rid of that nasty oh, minimum wage. Spank the minimum wage. Dirty Shit. minimum wage. Spank it. Shit. First of all, it would raise 900,000 no. Americans out of poverty. I want you to answer the question I'm, that I oh, just well. asked. Like, I like whatever. how she doesn't she doesn't provide any math to show to back this up. She just says, "I've done the math." It's like, can you do math? That's that's kind of interesting. Ask I was about to get because to because Democrats have told me to my face, "Woo, wrong." The so, president has said Dean. it. I want you to address that point. I'm going to. Cut Cut just I'm that going to. I'm going to. I'm going to talk over you first, though. People out of poverty. That's a big. So if Galen is listening right now, TJ, Galen thinks SE Cup is. You're wrong, TJ. You're wrong. Secretly intelligent. She's just playing to the false dichotomy. <laughs> She's just playing to the false dichotomy. Because last time, TJ, you were like, fuck, she's stupid. She's playing to the false dichotomy. I think Galen... Galen just, had sex with Essie Cup and Michelle Galen Bach just, at the same time. <laughs> he wants to fuck her. At and the same time. That's my theory, I guess. I don't know. I don't believe she's portraying a character. I think she's really the stupid, personally. Deal. Second of all... Even though CBO is nonpartisan, even though it is very credible, and I usually have the same attitudes that you do, something's wrong with this. Seven Nobel laureates have agreed that they're not right. So we no, no, got, no, 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 no. Seven Whoa. Nobel laureates. CBO is wrong on That's, just this part of it. Well, apparently it is. Get serious. That, or, I'm not, Get I serious. serious. It's I, look, I, I usually agree with the CBO, and you're, I'm going to say some things about uh, the Obama stimulus yeah. package that are not going to be party line things. No, I, I understand. Actually, I appreciate. I actually think I'm going to say things about Obama's package that are not <laughs> party line look, things. I'm going to say a lot of really interesting things about Obama's uh, package later. <laughs> later on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'm a D. It was Bernanke's stimulus that got us out of this, not I Obama's. appreciate that you are but very the, honest. But the fact of the matter but is, I do believe the CBO is wrong here because most economists disagree with them. And the, hist the history is, when you raise the minimum wage, in fact, it does not cut jobs. That is a fact. If you're worth more than the minimum wage to your employer, you will make out. And if oh, you are not worth like, more than an OHR employer, so Bush you will destroy lose jobs. Your job. Hold on, is he saying that if I'm worth more to my than the minimum <laughs> wage, my employer will make out? I don't. Is that what he just said? Is, is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but the last minimum wage increase was signed by Bush. So not only that, a Republican is responsible for, by their logic, cutting thousands and thousands of jobs. Yes, I that's would. probably why the economy tanked is because Bush signed that minimum wage increase. I can go to work and be like. I found out I'm worth more than the minimum wage. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous because I mean, everyone knows companies are going to pay their employees as little as possible. That, that's, the, that's the amount they're, they're looking to pay you, as little as possible. Yeah, of course. I mean, some people, that's $10 million, and some people, that's, you know, minimum wage. Or even sometimes, in some cases, even less. Yeah. Or you will have your hours cut. It's a, the answer is it's a mixed bag. And I'm going to be very honest, too. Of course it's going to help some people if it's 9 10 an hour. 
and you're worth 911 to your employer, good for you. You got a raise. If you're First worth all, 810 to your I employer, you're going to lose your job you or have your hours reduced. You can't That's possibly basic economics. What you just it really said. is what basic economics. Well, first, well, first, well, first, first of all, raise the cost of labor, there will be less of it. Uh huh. Eh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The thing that none of these people seem to understand is that um, there would be much more – like we live in a consumer culture where most people are – well, at least a lot of people are not even making enough money to be consumers. Yeah. I mean, if you don't raise the minimum wage, you can, you're never going to get America to recover its consumption power. Yeah, and and it's, without that, our economy is stagnant because it's based upon that at this point. Especially if you're in debt. Like if every dollar you get goes back into paying off debt – it's not going back into the economy. It's going into the interest of some loan <coughs> that you have. So, you know, it's... And then it kind of <laughs> examines why do people have so much debt. It's because they're trying to maintain the same lifestyle that you know, previous generations would have. Like, we have to have two cars. We have to have this. We have to have it's that. It's that and student loans. People are taking oh, yeah. student loans... Over a trillion dollars. ...for degrees that they're getting jobs in that make not enough money to pay off the student loan in their lifetime. Yeah, there's about $1 trillion worth of outstanding student loans, too. So just think about that. Yeah. 